air quality is a fundamental parameter to have a successful painting process. So how we do guarantee air quality? Of course, a full filtration system, water, oil, silica gel, and active charcoal. But what about the compressed air? How we can test it? So with this gauge, the TRH, we can check temperature, relative humidity, and dew point. So here, for the first time, compressed air is under control. But what is really relevant is the dew point and the relative humidity. The range between 0 to 4% is considered ideal relative humidity. From 4 to 10% is acceptable. Anything beyond 10% is considered problematic for the painting process. So the most effective way to keep relative humidity down is desiccant silica gel. Silica desiccant gel is basically just these simple silica beans that act like a sponge and absorb any humidity. It's very effective, so silica absorbs the humidity, takes the humidity down to values that are in the very low range. Let's say with a, a normal air temperature, we can be around 2 to 4%. When we go heated air, we can go even down to 0%. Silica is very effective, as we said, but silica absorbs humidity. And absorbing humidity, you can see silica transitioning from an orange color to a green color. That means it's saturated. When silica gets saturated, it loses its capability of absorbing humidity and also can be a little bit dangerous for the compressor itself because oversaturating it may release silica particles in the system. So that's why silica is effective, but silica needs to be maintained. And this is a part that is very often missing in the, in the process, the maintenance of silica, because it's a little bit complicated. You need to remove it, you need to replace it, or you need to heat it up to create regeneration of the silica and discharge moisture. So here is why we have FSRD for EVO. Not simply the four function, as I said, water, oil, desiccant silica gel, and act charcoal, but there is a system that is able to understand why you are painting, how, how long you have painted, and how much regeneration silica needs. Automatically, as soon as you finish spraying, the silica regeneration starts so automatically there is a heating system that is going to regenerate the silica, moisture is discharged, and you are ready to go immediately with perfect condition after the process. If you keep painting again, the process stops and then starts as soon as you finish painting. The system takes in consideration this variable, takes in consideration how long you are painting, and starts again the regeneration process so that you always have the perfect condition. So it's a self-maintenance unit and all is left is changing the filters probably once every six, nine uh, months, depending on the quality of the air. Usually charcoal is considered a six months and the other filtration can be considered up to a year on an average air quality. So the unit is self-maintenance, silica is in perfect condition and we are always at ideal relative humidity condition for the spraying process.